In recent years, Russia has undertaken an ambitious initiative to advance its space technology into a new era characterized by autonomy, artificial intelligence, and deep space resilience. Central to this transformation is a relatively obscure yet highly ambitious microelectronics initiative conducted by the Design Center of NTC Module. The organization was assigned the development of a highly specialized system on chip, or SOC, for sophisticated spacecraft. Designed to function as the central processing unit for next-generation onboard systems, the chip aimed to reconcile the divide between conventional flight computers and emerging artificial intelligence-driven control architectures. Although official documentation verifies that a processor was indeed commissioned, the specific purpose it was intended to serve remains undisclosed. No governmental agency, industrial partner, or aerospace authority has publicly disclosed the spacecraft designated to carry it. This confidentiality, combined with technical clues in publicly accessible descriptions, has given the processor an almost legendary reputation within Russia's aerospace and defense sector. Analysts now describe it as Russia's mystery chip a component that may have been designed for some of the nation's most sophisticated or highly classified satellite programs. Comprehending the significance of this device requires a deep exploration across multiple layers of context. It demands an examination of Russia's current space strategy, its efforts toward electronics independence, the use of artificial intelligence in orbital and deep space missions, and the strategic framework the chip was intended to support. Only then does its importance become clear. Far from being an ordinary microelectronic component, the processor represents a pivotal development in Russia's understanding of the central intelligence needed for its future spacecraft. The core of the project involved creating an advanced system on chip capable of managing complex onboard duties that were previously performed exclusively on the ground. Specifications mentioned in public statements describe a highly sophisticated device. Most notably, the processor was engineered with integrated interfaces to communicate seamlessly with neuroprocessors using the Neuromatrix architecture. This architecture, a family of digital signal processors and artificial intelligence accelerators developed in Russia, has been used in defense and aerospace systems for tasks including image recognition, autonomous navigation, and rapid data compression. The intended role of the system on chip was not to replace these neuroprocessors, but to complement them and supervise their operation. It would act as the central coordinating hub overseeing data transmission, executing core mission logic, and enabling real-time artificial intelligence tasking under harsh orbital conditions. In many respects, it mirrors the relationship between a general-purpose CPU and a machine learning accelerator in modern terrestrial computing systems. Developing such a chip required expertise in radiation hardening, embedded system architecture, advanced communication bus design, and the integration of components into a compact, energy-efficient package. The processor must function reliably amid cosmic radiation, extreme temperature variations, and electromagnetic interference, while still ensuring deterministic operation, a crucial requirement for safety-critical spacecraft systems. If fully realized, Russia's new space processor would mark a transition from traditional flight computers to a new generation of artificial intelligence-enabled orbital platforms. It would allow satellites to identify patterns in real time, respond autonomously to environmental conditions, and reduce reliance on ground control. This capability defines today's space competition, where nations seek satellites that can operate with autonomy, especially in contested or communication-restricted environments. One of the most intriguing aspects of the project is that no public source identifies the specific spacecraft or mission intended to use this processor. Its role is broadly described as supporting onboard computing for next-generation spacecraft with artificial intelligence capabilities, but the absence of any mission designation has triggered speculation among analysts. 
Many suspect that the device was intended for classified or restricted programs. Russia is developing numerous such programs, including next-generation reconnaissance satellites and advanced communications and signals intelligence platforms. Although no firm connection can be proven, various features of the system on chip hint at potential applications. Spacecraft that must process vast amounts of data in real time, such as high-resolution imaging satellites, tactical reconnaissance systems, or orbital threat detection satellites, would benefit greatly from artificial intelligence-enabled onboard computation. Processing data directly in orbit reduces downlink requirements and dramatically shortens reaction times, which is vital in military or rapid response scenarios. Another possibility lies in Russia's ambitions for interplanetary exploration. Autonomous decision-making is essential for spacecraft operating with long communication delays. A radiation-hardened system on chip capable of managing artificial intelligence accelerators is crucial for such missions. Russia has expressed interest in lunar operations, autonomous landing technologies, and deep space scientific probes, all of which could benefit from this device. Whether meant for military, scientific, or dual-use missions, the processor's true purpose remains undisclosed. This silence has turned the device into a technological mystery, suggesting it may have been designed for a mission the government prefers to conceal. The significance of the device becomes clearer when viewed through Russia's ongoing push for self-reliance in microelectronics. For many years, Russian spacecraft depended heavily on foreign-made radiation-hardened processors, particularly those from the United States and Europe. Sanctions and export restrictions have severely limited this access. In response, Russia launched substantial investments in domestic semiconductor development, focusing heavily on aerospace and defense. The system-on-chip from NTC module fits precisely into this strategy. It represented not only a technical milestone, but also a strategic geopolitical necessity. Domestic spacecraft processors must combine high reliability, radiation tolerance, and performance, a combination only a few nations can achieve. Russia's progress has been slowed by limited semiconductor fabrication capabilities, especially at advanced process nodes required for compact, power-efficient designs. The system-on-chip would have been among the most advanced space-grade integrated circuits ever created in Russia. It symbolized the country's drive to break free from foreign suppliers and build a self-sustaining space technology base. By including artificial intelligence capabilities, it was designed to place Russia on a path similar to Western and Chinese efforts to create intelligent autonomous spacecraft. Modern spacecraft are undergoing a profound transformation. Missions once guided largely from Earth are shifting toward autonomous systems capable of real-time onboard analysis. High-resolution satellites now generate terabytes that is, trillions of bytes of data per mission. Congested orbits require proactive collision avoidance measures. Lunar and planetary missions need navigation systems capable of adapting instantly to new terrain. All of these advancements require powerful radiation-hardened processors. Russia's mystery device was engineered precisely for this new era. With its ability to coordinate neural processors and manage advanced data routing, it promised to support a new generation of highly autonomous spacecraft. Such autonomy would reduce bandwidth needs, improve survivability, and enable artificial intelligence functions such as target recognition, terrain mapping, atmospheric assessment, and autonomous docking. A processor of this type could dramatically enhance Russia's military and scientific presence in space. Satellites could analyze images before transmitting them to Earth detect orbital hazards, or adjust their own trajectories to avoid interference. In deep space missions, landers and rovers could interpret environmental data and perform maneuvers without waiting for instructions from Earth. Public statements from the developer reveal serious supply chain challenges. Russia's access to cutting-edge semiconductor technologies has been severely restricted, 
especially materials and equipment needed for radiation-hardened chip manufacturing. This has created a bottleneck that is difficult to overcome. The delays were attributed to the inability to obtain essential materials domestically, including high-purity substrates, specialized photoresists, advanced packaging materials, and precision equipment used in space-grade chip production. Most suppliers of these components are located in countries that follow strict export regulations. This fragile supply chain raises doubts about the project's long-term viability. Even if the chip were fully designed, producing it at scale would still be a challenge. Russia's existing fabrication facilities rely on older process nodes that limit performance and efficiency. The complexities of manufacturing such an advanced system on chip add to the mystery. Was it a bold attempt to advance technologically despite infrastructure limitations? Or was it meant as a proof of concept for a broader effort to build a domestic ecosystem of autonomous space electronics? The answers remain unclear. The story of Russia's mystery chip is shaped by the tension between its ambitious goals and the structural limitations around it. The idea of a domestically built system on chip capable of managing Neuromatrix artificial intelligence accelerators marks a major leap in satellite autonomy. Yet the challenges of sourcing materials, manufacturing radiation-hardened electronics, and achieving serial production remain substantial. This contrast reflects the current state of Russia's space electronics industry. There is a powerful desire to compete with global leaders in aerospace, artificial intelligence, onboard data processing, and autonomous mission management. But the infrastructure required to support these ambitions has not kept pace with geopolitical pressure or technological needs. The chip occupies a space between vision and reality, fully conceptualized, technologically advanced, and strategically vital, yet constrained by a fragile supply chain and limited fabrication capacity. Whether it will reach operational maturity remains uncertain. The lack of a designated spacecraft adds another layer of mystery. It may have been intended for classified reconnaissance satellites, advanced military platforms, or high-resolution optical systems. It could even have been designed for a lunar mission requiring autonomous onboard computing. The secrecy may also stem from the chip's unfinished state. Without serial production or flight-ready prototypes, assigning it to a specific mission may have been premature. Whether the processor ultimately flies remains unknown. But it stands as one of Russia's most ambitious attempts to create a domestic, artificial intelligence-enabled computing core for next-generation spacecraft. Russia's mystery chip represents more than a microelectronic project. It symbolizes an era of intense technological competition, geopolitical constraint, and the pursuit of sovereignty in essential systems. Though many questions remain, including whether it will be mass-produced or what missions it will support, the intent behind it is clear. It marks an important step in Russia's effort to build the core computing foundation for future space systems, where artificial intelligence-driven autonomy is not just advantageous, but essential. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.